Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend, a 10 days that could be a bit of a roller coaster, meteorologically speaking. Meteorological summer has got off to a wet start, a very wet start. There's no getting away from the fact that June has been uh, very soggy so far. But if you're after some dry and sunny weather, well, the next few days promises some of that. Yes, the weather's settling down. Certainly Friday and Saturday look fine for most. It may not last all that long through the course of the weekend, particularly early next week. We are looking at the return of showers and then things could get very interesting through the middle of next week. There is the possibility, and I must stress the possibility, of some heat heading up towards the UK. But it's just one scenario. There's a couple of possibilities for next week, as we will talk about in just a moment. So if you're planning to head to a certain festival next week, well, you may want to stay tuned for more updates on Glastonbury. Right, let's deal with the shorter term because, yes, lots of showers around on Wednesday and Thursday from an area of low pressure. But what we've been waiting for for most of June to settle things down is high pressure. And finally, it's going to arrive through Friday and Saturday. There'll still be some showers across Scotland, particularly northern Scotland on Saturday. But for most places, this high calming things down, bringing much drier weather through Friday and Saturday. And probably for many on Sunday as well, although notice this area of low pressure is lurking. More on that in a moment. Certainly for most Friday and Saturday and Sunday looking dry. There'll be some sunshine and it'll start to feel a bit warmer as well. But the mornings will still be on the chilly side. What happens after that? Well, that's where the uncertainty starts. That area of low pressure I talked about tries to edge in and bump away our area of high pressure, but it's a slow old process. This low is not moving anywhere fast. And that is one of the big complications about the forecast for next week. It's not like we've got low pressure after low pressure whizzing across the UK. It's all very static and this weather front just fringing in, potentially bringing some rain into parts of the West on Sunday more particularly on Sunday nights. But for many, the high pressure will hang on for Sunday too. Now, why is this low just sitting still? Why is it not moving very far? Well, for that, we need to look high up in the atmosphere at the jet stream. We've talked about this before, but the jet stream is really is in a classic omega block situation as we go into the early part of next week. This is the omega block, the jet stream driving south uh, away from the eastern side of the United States, then up to the north across Greenland and then down to the south again. It's called an omega block because it's shaped like the Greek letter omega and it's called a block because when a jet stream is in this kind of pattern, things just don't shift very far, very quickly. The, the uh, jet stream isn't driving the low pressure systems on. It's kind of just sitting still and it's in this curve, this trough where low pressures just tend to mill around. That's the situation we've seen so far through June with the low sitting over the UK. That's why June has been so wet so far. The difference here is that the low has now shifted a little bit down to the southwest. And that could have implications for the weather next week. But certainly early next week, with low pressure sitting nearby, the weather front edging in, there will be some rain around on this. But also, with the low pressure down to the southwest, the winds swirling around an area of low pressure like this, there is the likelihood of some warmer weather. Potentially some very hot weather wafting up across Spain into France up towards Germany. And notice we are not too far away from tapping into that hot air and it really is very hot air. So imagine the scenario where that low pressure is just a little bit further west then we could tap into that hot air across the UK. But equally if the low pressure is just a little bit, we're only talking about 100 miles or so further east, then we will stay in the cool air. And that's the big conundrum, especially around the middle part of next week. And the computer models are not completely in agreement about exactly what's going to happen yet. And there's nothing too unusual about that. But this is one scenario from the European computer model uh, from Wednesday for the forecast for the middle of next week for next Wednesday. And you can see this scenario has the low pressure here and all the hot air right across the UK. That would see temperatures really jumping up. But the same computer model yesterday was forecasting something rather different. This is the same time frame. So for the middle of next week, all the hot air was still across mainland Europe and we were in the cooler conditions with the low pressure down to the southwest. So it's a subtle balance. One of those two scenarios 
likely for next week. And this graphic sums it up quite nicely because instead of just running, running one computer model, we run several. We call it an ensemble. And this gives an average or a spread of likely scenarios. Now, this graphic is showing that the hot air is very likely, the white colors, that's where we're very certain that it's going to be hot across Italy and much of mainland Europe. And the cooler conditions, again, a lot of certainty with the paler colors here out in the Atlantic. But the UK is in the middle with these green colors, and that's where the uncertainty lies. We're kind of in the sweet spot of uncertainty. One of those two scenarios, but which one will win out? Scenario one, the low pressure is down to the southwest. We get some heat, some real heat, something that we haven't seen so far this summer, but it will also be very humid. The nights will be uncomfortable, and there's the threat with the hot and humid air of some big, intense thunderstorms. The other scenario is that that low pressure system is much closer to the UK and it's as you were, as we have been for most of June. It stays cool, it stays mostly cloudy and it stays showery. Now I hear you saying, well, we just don't know. And at the moment, we just don't know between those two scenarios, but we're pretty confident it will be one of those two. So we're saying it's not going to be high pressure, fine weather, average temperatures. It's not likely to be cool and sunny. It's not likely to be chopping and changing very quickly with weather fronts moving across the UK. It's going to be either cool, cloudy and showery or the potential for that heat and humidity. If you're packing for Glastonbury, I agree that that's not necessarily that useful. But what I think we can say is that you will need wellies because the ground is going to be soggy. You will also need sunscreen because if the sun comes out for any length of time at this time of year, UV levels are likely to be high. Stay tuned for details on any given location as we go through next week. And well, the message is always is stay tuned to the very latest from the Met Office. We have the expertise here to deliver the most accurate longer range forecast. Best way to stay up to date is to follow us on social media.